was only trying to do his bit, but instead, Captain Tom became a national hero. It's a lovely morning. Yeah, I feel fine. I was, we, being in the army, we used to getting up early. The World War II veteran set out to walk around his garden a hundred times with the aim of raising a thousand pounds for the NHS. He's achieved that 30,000 times over. I think it's absolutely <laughs> fantastic sum of money. We would never imagine that sort of money. It's unbelievable that people would be so kind. And maybe I, I was responsible for starting it, but not, not deliberately. The nation has taken it to their hearts, and now this is the nation's story. And beyond that, it's truly gone global. As these tributes show, a struggling country has fallen in love with him. He's a one-man fundraising machine, and God knows what the final total will be, but good on him, I hope he keeps going. At 99, you say you can, you can still contribute and, and help people who are fighting. You are what this country is all about, mate. A true hero, an absolute legend. You are brilliant. You can have the day off today and eat as much chocolate as you like. Captain Tom, you're an inspiration to us all, and we thank you. He's broken two world records. His duet with Michael Ball went straight to number one in the charts and he now has a Royal Mail birthday postmark to his name. Captain Tom served and fought on the Arakan in Western Burma during the Second World War. He's well placed to speak about the virtues of the NHS, having received treatment for skin cancer and more recently a broken hip. Everything you can say good about them, I can say about the National Health Service. And the difference that this is making is, is firstly, it's going um, straight to the front line of the NHS, the, the staff, the volunteers, the patients, and supporting them. He's inspired others to take difficult steps too. I like to have a run at it. You like to have a run at it? Like Margaret Payne going up her stairs 282 times, the equivalent of climbing Sylvan Mountain. Just trying to get put in the right place. Or former Scotland That's rugby good, captain well Mike Bigger taking 100 steps a hundred steps despite suffering severe brain injuries in a near fatal well car done. crash 30 years ago. Frank. And six year old Frank Mills, who's not letting spina bifida get in the way of his 10 metres. And there we go 10 metres! Well done! This school has been collecting birthday cards for Tom, and over 100,000 have arrived already. Happy 100th birthday, Captain Tom.